Your system is rather very similar to mine one. I am using a two charge controller with single solar panel line. Okay. Why I need this buck boost module I will tell you later. The first thing. The solar line come. Okay. My system is like that. It's going to this MPPT charge controller. That system I designed for 24 volt. My panel is up there in series, not in parallel. So in the daytime, I'm getting here 34 volt, 41 volt. Okay. And then it's come to my junction box. And then it charged the battery. That was my inverter, which was uh, 24 volt. It was burned due to overload. So I have to repair this one first. So temporary, I'm using the UPS as a inverter this ups as a inverter i'm uh, inverter i'm using you will see i on ready this one is come ready in the backup power so for this ups i take out like this is also same ups what you are using right i take out the ac power code because i don't want somebody mistakenly connect that one so it will go back charging the battery and then there have a phase possibly it can damage the charge controller or solar panel diode also so this why don't connect this one mistakenly to the grid if you are ups connected to the charge controller solar panel okay so okay come to the point i have here input coming okay then it's go to my battery junction box and i have a second battery that battery is for my you see up there the six led lights that is uh, i'm running dc lights for extreme condition it's set on to 36 volt up there with the leds also i'm using like that buck boost module you can see there that is the top point and this is set here because the voltage is dropped onto this point here is come 11 volt something this why i put the boost module here so that light run by this battery it's a 24 m battery lithium iron phosphate that battery is charged by this pwm charge controller and this pwm charge controller what i'm here using that is the you know uh, it's it's don't have a separate solar panel or i don't have a separate solar line for this one so i need a power from this solar line to power on this one if i connect this uh, this pwm to here with the battery this is a 12 volt battery here just down you see ready if i connect here the battery voltage is 12 and the amperage is 85 this is almost 780 watt so it is over rating than this charge controller okay every charge controller have a 20 amp 30 amp 60 amp so this is a 20 amp it support only 300 watt solar panel so 700 watt definitely if i connect this one with direct to the battery it will get tripped and it will give error and it will not charge the battery so solution for that one we need the step up buck boost module why step up because here voltage is 12 and if 12 volt you give to here your battery you need to charge minimum with the 15 volt or 14.6 volt right so it will not work again so you need a one buck boost module to step up the voltage so here is input 12 output i set on to 22 volt in amps is like a 5 amp or 3 amps so it's like a 50 or 60 watt solar panel uh, it's act like a 60 watt solar panel this sensing this buck boost module as a 60 watt and this one not connected 24 hour i must have to put one switch between this line that is the line for this uh, buck boost module so i have to disconnect this one the reason i have to disconnect this one if i not disconnect this one it will keep taking the voltage from the battery and this is also connected to the battery it keep continue you know idle voltage consuming so the battery will drain and i don't want this one so we have to disconnect this one so that is my battery what i'm connecting 
with this separate solar charge controller and the reason I need this buck boost module to boost the voltage from 12 volt to 15 volt or 20 volt so this will work perfectly so that is my daytime charging for this battery and that battery is charged by this charge controller so this why we need a buck boost module because sometime we have power here like 85 amps have but we cannot shift this energy into this battery right we need to regulate that uh, voltage and we need to uh, you know like we need to get the little amperage from this battery so we transfer this energy first into the booster boost the voltage up and it's set on to 3 amps and then it's give the regulated voltage regulated amps to this our lithium iron phosphate battery or any other lithium battery so then it's charged so this why i'm using in your case in your case you're using the same charge controller you have a pwm you have a pwm so in that scenario you have a separate load okay onto the charge control like this time we don't have a i don't have a separate load my load is connected to one battery okay one panel come charge control come here and then it's distributing like a down the voltage boost the, uh, like a here voltage come down ready 12 volt then we again boost the voltage to 22 volt and then again we regulate the voltage and charge this battery so the circle is come here input output and then again input and then again output high voltage then again input and then again you know regulate it down the voltage and charge so we have a lot of losses but i have of course two panel on the top no power or no problem this one so my problem i told you i have a different this why i need this one but you when you need this one you go like this okay you verify your solar voltage input okay you don't connect to first charge controller you connect to the multimeter here is the multimeter okay you connect with the multimeter check your solar voltage if you see your solar panel voltage is drop then you connect this boost module to you know the input of this will be the solar panel come input here then the output will be go to your charge controller then no problem you understand so that is the difference if you getting if you getting a loss in your input from the solar panel then you need this one that is the technology difference other all is the same so this why i just make this video for you so you check if there have a some similarity with your system or you can understand otherwise you no need to put here so many switches uh, meter reading because you already have charge controller enough to read the voltage you understand you no need to connect any other thing if you connecting other other meters to just light up and show you you're still draining your battery right energy is a so you know and this is a dc voltage is very faster you know your battery will discharge even whatever is idle situation but you have already two charge controller connected they have also their own consumption so you just verify here what you need you you check if the voltage is here drop you getting below than uh, 13 volt 12 volt then you take this 250 watt or 350 watt 350 watt minimum you connect in the solar panel input and then output of this one will distribute into the you know your charge controllers because you have a just single line you just dividing the you know energy between two charge controller that is your system so what you have to do you have to verify your solar input voltage drop of course your panel is 18 volt if it is in parallel definitely the amps is high but if you have a long wire long wire long wire but my one is short but if you are long wire your panel is very far and your charge controller also far from the battery and definitely you have a very uh, long line loss maybe 2 volt 3 volt or maybe 5 volt so you verify that one first 
okay because these regulators need a specific voltage of input if in input voltage is will mean uh, fluctuating a lot you understand if you have a already 12 volt or 14 volt and after uh, in in evening your battery will be not charged uh, near to like a three o'clock you will be not able to charge your battery because you lost in the voltage and the regulation will be not properly so you need here buck boost module okay in the middle not the not <laughs> you know from panel uh, from charge controller to other charge controller this system i'm using in the you know like a critical situation because my inverter was burned and i have still upgrading the system and i'm making the portable uh, solar chargeable light so this is my you know like a temporary design the i'm just testing the cells testing the system line otherwise i also have a lot of losses in the line you see single line input come charge controller then go to the battery then from the battery i take this wire and go to the boost module here have a losses then it's go again the voltage high and regulated here losses then is come to charge the battery so this system is not uh, sufficient but it's work for me because i have a uh, only consumption of lights and i need a lot of lights in night time so this is my home system running through this DC and AC lights. I'm using this one, a UPS. And don't connect your UPS. It's much better you wire up your UPS AC wire. You keep it safe. Don't plug to the city grid. Plug it. The phase will go to the battery terminal and definitely they'll have a problem. So that was the system. If you have a still some question, let me know. Thank you.